Hello, so we're going to start by looking at the standard form of the equation of the ellipse. First with center at 0, 0, and then we're going to look at um, ones where the center is somewhere else. Okay, so this is the equation of the ellipse. This is called standard form. So basically we want our variables x squared and y squared. So an ellipse is going to have a x squared plus a y squared, both of them in the equation. And the x squared gets divided by a number a squared, and the y squared gets divided by the number b squared, and that needs to equal to 1. All right? So a is basically how far you move left and right from the center. Okay, so if you have a center here at 0, 0, then you move a units to the right and a units to the left to figure out like the ends of the ellipse in the horizontal direction. And b is how much you move up and down. Okay, so b up and b down from the center, and that gives you like the extremes of the ellipse up and down. All right, so kind of it, it, it gives you the x and y intercepts. All right, so again, that works for both versions. So whether it's like flat or tall, a is always how far you go left and right, and b is always how far you go up and down. Okay. All right, so let's graph. Okay, so um, we notice the equation is x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. So center is at 0, 0. Okay, so our center is right here. And we just need to identify the horizontal and the vertical axes, okay? So this is a squared equals 4, which means take the square root, you get a equals plus or minus 2. So it goes move positive 2 and negative 2. So 2 to the right, 2 to the left. b squared is what's under the y squared, 9. You solve for b and you get plus or minus 3. So 3 is how much you move up, and negative 3 how much you move down, okay? So we see we have our x-intercepts here are 2, 0, and negative 2, 0. Our y-intercepts are 0, 3, and 0, negative 3, all right? And basically do your best and make a, something that looks like an oval, an ellipse. There you go, that's the graph of that ellipse. So it's slightly taller than wide. Okay, so it's as I said, a squished circle or an elegated circle. Looks kind of like an egg.